I just wanna look good for ya, good for ya, uh-huh. <laughs> Guys, I have so much energy today. I don't know why. I think because Mother's Day is actually one of my favorite holidays and I'm just really excited to film this video. But yeah, I'm like full of energy today and I'm just, ah, I'm so excited. Hey guys, it's Ganu here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am so excited for today's video because I'm going to be showing you guys how to make three easy Mother's Day DIY gifts for your mom or mother-like figure in your life. And I think they're super cute and the majority of them is food-based kind of gifts. So you can never go wrong with cupcakes or cookies for a Mother's Day gift. So with that said, let's get right into the video then. The first Mother's Day DIY gift, what you're going to need is a box of French vanilla cake mix, some icings to decorate the cupcakes with, three eggs, and it's not shown here, but cooking oil and water is a definite need for this recipe. So this is the easy part. You're going to take a mixing bowl and dunk in your cake mix with one third cup of cooking oil, one cup of water, and then cracking your three eggs, and then you just whisk away. I don't know about you guys, but when I'm mixing the cake mixture, I'm always doodling with the cake mixture. As you can see, I'm just drawing some random lines, but that's what I do when I'm bored. Definitely let me know down in the comments if you do this as well, so it can kind of make me seem less of a weird person. <laughs> it's time to put the cupcakes in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and I roughly cook them for about 20 minutes. And now I'm taking my pink frosting, and I'm just swirling around on top, and I just want to cover as much as possible. What I'm doing now is creating the stems with my green frosting and I'm just creating three stems for the bouquet and as you can see I went it over twice because I want to make the stems a little more thick. And now I'm adding a cute yellow bow to the bouquet of flower cupcakes. You don't have to do this but I just thought I add on some extra cuteness. to the next DIY gift. What you're gonna need is a glass vase of course, some circular sponge paintbrushes, two colors that you prefer, and then the ribbon is optional. This is probably one of the easiest DIYs you will ever do in your life. So basically you just pour in the paint onto this paint container and then what I did was when I dabbed in my sponge paintbrush, I dabbed it into the middle of the paint container to get rid of the excess paint on my sponge paintbrush and then all I did was I just kind of start dotting the vase and that's basically what you have to do. You just kind of dab those dots into the vase and just let it dry. <laughs> Last but surely not least, the last DIY I'm going to show you guys how to make are these delicious sugar cookies. And because I'm so lazy, I bought the pre-packaged sugar cookies at the store. You don't have to do this, you can make it from scratch, but because I, I'm not really good at making cookies from scratch, I thought why not buy these pre-packaged ones. And what I did was that I oiled my pan and then after doing that I flipped on the mix onto the pan and then I just because they are individually separated what I did was that I meshed everything together so that it's one big cookie dough kind of form and then I took my plastic knife to carve out the words love I know I'm such a dork I should have went to go buy the letters but then I forgot to and I was already set up to film and I thought just why not be creative and just find something in my kitchen that I can carve out the word love with and I found this plastic knife so I thought why not use it so <laughs> that's why I'm using a knife so you don't have to use the word love you can go with any other words that best represents your mom or mother like figure in your life for example you can go with the word sweet kind anything like that 
and then I cook the cookies for about 5 to 10 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. You just have to keep checking your cookies to make sure they're not burnt. And now I am putting the frosting on the cookies and I also sprinkled some sprinkles on the letters and I added some yellow polka dots with my yellow frosting to add a little cuteness to it. Of course, I had to Instagram my beautiful DIY project. Definitely follow me on Instagram. I will have my Instagram account on the screen as well as listed at the bottom of the video. Also find this picture on my Instagram account and leave a comment below describing your mom or mother like figure in your life with one word and also don't forget to like the picture as well I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give this video a big thumbs up also give this video a big thumbs up if you are excited for Mother's Day like me if you haven't done so definitely click that subscribe button to be notified of my future videos and my social media is linked down below so make sure to follow me on Instagram snapchat Twitter anything like that that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching my video, and I will see you guys next Sunday. Bye. Ouch. Oh, my legs. Ah. Okay. Definitely a steal. And I actually have an event to go to in a couple weeks, so I am going to be wearing this baby. So, yeah, I love it with my life.